Hi everyone, welcome to another um, video from this um, very pretty Rita Berman page. Um, we are going to sort of start here today and see um, see where we get to really. So let's come in um, closer. And we can, yeah, we'll make a start on the berries and the mushroom and we'll see how we get on. So I will want to do a red mushroom. So these, I was thinking of doing them red and now I'm thinking I could do them brownie orange because I want them a bit different to this and I want them different to what I've done before. So I think I'm going to start with the cinnamon and uh, just trying to figure out how to do them. I think I'm going to do a darker layer around the edge on these. Oops. <laughs> Now it's the end of my pencil snapped off. I'm trying to figure out where it went. I heard it land. <laughs> I don't know where. So I'm just trying to fade this. Just do a light layer like that. And the same on each one. So a dark layer on the edge. And then fade it towards the middle. Just the same on each of them, really. Now, I know Rita has done this sort of pattern on each one of them, but I'm actually not going to do much with that. I'm just going to leave it. It will show through because the pencils are fairly transparent. I'm going to leave that tubby bit as well. I'm going to do those bits a different colour. Those are sort of, well, this is where it joins the branch, and this is like the old dead bit of flower. So I think I might do them in a dark brown but get there in a minute do this bit first okay I'm going to use an orange but I'm going to use a lighter orange we had used blood orange for some of the um, some of the berries but I'm just using a normal orange I'm going to go over what we've done already to help to blend it in and then take the orange towards the middle and leave it quite faint in the middle I'm hoping that's going to work. I can try it on all of them and then have a look. I'm hoping it'll sort of help to add a bit of shape to them. The thing is, when we've got this bit of a pattern in the middle, it can be a little bit distracting. But hopefully it'll be okay. I think that's okay. I am going to use the cocoa brown for the ends of each berry. So both for this part here and this part here. I'm not sure whether this part would be more likely to be leaf coloured, but uh, I don't know. I'm just doing it to match. I don't really, because I don't know. It's just as easy to do it either way. So if you feel it should be green, like like the leaves are going to be and yeah go ahead right what kind of green should I do I'm thinking quite like the idea of doing a moss green I'm just going to give it a sharpen and I'm going to do them darker here and fade towards this way I don't normally do it this way just figured I'd mix it up a bit. Why ever not? Uh, there we go. Now I'm aware, I just want to let you know that I've had, I've started if another series as well, which I haven't only did one picture of in um, Hannah Carlson's book, um, her seasons book, The Winter Pages. I'm going to use this for the stem of the mushroom. I'm aware that I've haven't um, done so much on that yet. I've got so many things planned and that I want to do. I haven't been able to fit it all in, but I'm going to, once I finish this one, I'm going to finish that one. And but I also need to show you my colour cube. So uh, I've got to get that in as well. There's so much. I've been so lucky I've been given new books that I want to show you and things like that as well. So there's just a lot going on with regards to things to show you. This is smoke grey. And uh, so 
it's it's a lovely problem to have really. I'm going to do that a little bit stripy because sometimes these, where that comes in there, is slightly dented in. So I think it gives it a little bit more shape. I'm going to go back to that stem colour, the um, cloudy grey for the underneath. I'm actually just block colouring it at the minute, or normal colouring. And I'm going to make it a little bit darker towards the centre. I think it would be a bit shadowed by the stem. There we go. Now the main one I want to be... Hmm, should we do it red? Yeah, we did our other one red as well, didn't we? This is the rose red. I'm not sure if it's the same shade of red as that one. I think I'm going to swap. I'm going to do it magenta because I know that isn't the shade that I did. And then it won't be the same. Hmm. Now looking at it, it looks like that actually is the shade that I did. <laughs> Never mind. I'm going to try and have less intensity of colour as I go up the mushroom. Because there'd be more shade at the bottom. Normally that's how nature works because the sun is in the sky. So things at the top are lighter. There we go. It does look different to the other one. I'm really tempted to leave those circles white just because I like a white dot on a mushroom. But it just looks like I couldn't be bothered to colour it. So I'm trying to decide what to do with them. I'd like to do them in a sort of very light beige, a colour of which I do not have. Um, 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 I think my camel brown is my closest. So I'm just going to do a little bit, just a light bit, and leave, still leave some white, do a bit here and here and leave a bit of white, do a bit on the edges, like that. There we go. I'm going to push this up and do this. I want the centre to be the camel brown, so I'm just going to colour it really just block colouring because I don't think there would be any shade or shadows in this. And the outside is a tree trunk so I'm just going to do it in the cocoa brown. I don't want to press too hard because we've got the black there. I want that to show that there's black so I'm just going to go around and uh, not push too hard. There we go. Now we have a leaf. Now what should we do with our leaf? I'm thinking let's make it look a little autumnal. Yeah, let's, let's keep our cocoa brown for a minute and just do a little bit on each leaf tip. Not too much. Leaves aren't normally this dark, but once we go over it with another brown, it won't look like this. And we'll use a lighter brown. We'll use this one that we've used already. This is the cinnamon. And we'll go over the top. Just bring some more colour into our leaf. My husband's going to make me a cup of tea. Coffee, I'm not sure what he'll make me. It's nice having him at home. It's being useful, though he's he's hurt his back. Camel brown. And he's on holiday. But um, he's hurt his back, so he hasn't been hugely useful over Christmas. I'm having a really nice rest today, actually, because everyone's eating up the leftovers from where we entertained yesterday. And... Um, I haven't got to do so much because it's quite... had his family over yesterday. Yesterday was the 28th. 
I'm recording this quite a way in advance. I'm going to use a bit of lemon yellow, just a little bit. And um, it was really lovely. But he couldn't help me with things very much. But uh, it didn't, it wasn't too much, but it's just, you know, having someone do a few little bits for you can be really handy. The children helped a bit. This is the pear green that I'm going to use just for the centre. Um, so yeah, and they, um, it wasn't too tricky, it was lunch, which um, he did the meat part, because I don't eat meat, I don't know how to cook meat. I'm going to go over all of it with this one, and um, I just did potatoes and veg, some roasted veg, some boiled veg, yeah, that was okay. What are these? Are they acorns? I don't know. Let's grab this sienna brown. It could be cob nuts. I don't know. I'm just going to make them a little bit lighter on the top, I think. Um, but it was really lovely to have everyone over. And um, one person brought pudding, one person brought drinks, so it was really quite easy. We had afternoon tea and it was just mince pies, which didn't get warmed up. So there wasn't that much hard work once lunch was served up. It was just, it was just getting the house nice and clean and tidy before they came and then cleaning and tidying it all again after they left. Cocoa brown, I'm going to do that line. I don't know what it is. Um, I think I was saying to someone I think my house has had a shock it's been cleaned and tidied and dusted so many times over Christmas with different people coming <laughs> camel brown I'm going to do the ends I'm, I feel I have a feeling they should be lighter but uh, it's it's been it's really nice having a clean house I'm going to do all of this bit and just finish this some page so these leaves I am going to grab the mint green and I'm going to do them quite simply darker here and lighter towards the tip more of them now some of these things I've realized now that I put snow on um, the very first log that I did I put snow on and I haven't done that on anything else at all and I'm wondering whether I should put snow on the leaves I'll have a think as I go through it because I could just do that at the end maybe I will and it might just finish it all off maybe I won't <laughs> we'll see won't we a bit of a mystery I think it won't work on things like the snowflakes obviously so mm, and our mushroom is on its side So I'm keeping that one really simple. It's really bright. I think it's quite fun. Now, I think this is a tree. It looks a bit like it could be a leaf, but I think it's a tree. And this is a tree. This is a tree. These are leaves, obviously. So let's have a think. Let's grab the fern green and start this tree. Mm, I'm thinking let's go dark here to light in each of these sections. Not sure how much it'll show up because they're so small. Just a bit different. And then I can do the same in this. So I'm going to use the same colour, but just put a bit more of it at the bottom of each section. Just take advantage of Rita's doodling to make it look a little bit different. Now often when we've had a pair of trees or a group of trees on this page we've used the same colours. So I think I'm going to keep with this colour on these bits just to continue with that consistency of colour. But that one I would do differently um, just because it, it's not quite near to these two. 
it's not it's not lined up with them sort of thing okay the main part of the tree I think I'm going to use the match green it's quite a nice general green and I'm going to go darker at the top and then lighter to go down towards each the bottom of this section and then I'll do the same with this one darker up here and then lighter as we go down towards the bottom there we go now the trunk I'm going to use the cocoa brown Then we need to do the snow with our periwinkle blue, exactly as we have before, so leaving a little white gap like that. Now we have this tree and these leaves. I think it's really fun the way it goes around there. Um, what colour should we do? Dark or light? Maybe. Yes, maybe the basil green. And I'm just going to try and make it quite even, I think. Oops. As she goes out the lines. Oopsie. Now you don't have to have no background on this page, I was just thinking, you know, I said I'm not going to do one. But I really wouldn't know what colour to do it after all the colours that we've got. We've used like every colour in the box, haven't we, nearly. Um, dark chocolate brown. We haven't used a light yellow, but I'm not sure that will really... I don't know. I can try and do it a little bit darker on the edges of the trunk. Let's give it a bit of shape if we can. There we go. So no, I'm not really sure. Um, I think I'm going to use the jade green for the last set of leaves. I'm going to make them darker at the bottom and lighter towards the tip if I can, if I can fit in enough colour. <laughs> well, we haven't used very much purple, pink. I don't know if that makes a good background colour, really. Mm. Not sure if I've completely finished. I shall have a look in a minute. <laughs> See if I've missed anything out. I haven't. I've just got to think about this snow. We've done snow on some things. Mm, I think I am going to do some snow on some things. I'm just going to um, come out a little bit. No, we we'll need come right out, I think. Sorry, I'm just trying to take a photo. He doesn't want to take one. There we go. I can take a photo while I'm filming and it, I can then use it for my thumbnail. Right, so I'm going to try and put snow on things. If you don't like it, don't do it. I'm going to start at the top and work down because otherwise, um, yeah, otherwise I'll smudge it. So I'm sort of doing it on the tops of things. Where it would naturally sort of fall. And then I'll just move across and work through each thing, thing, item, thing. Mm. And I'm just going to sort of ignore the, uh, the actual snowflakes and not put any on those. He can put a bit of shine on the berries as well. I'm tempted to just put a bit on there. And then a bit of snow on the top and on the top of the leaf. Done a bit on that one. 
No, maybe a bit here. Yeah, you can just about see what I'm doing, can't you? Let's move a crop up on the top of the log. On the top of the trees. Might not show up on everything that well, depending on the colour been used. I'm going to ignore them. I'm not going to put any on top of our creature because any of our creatures, because I don't think they would be still long enough to get snowy. That's my thought anyway. I don't really see snowy critters. I don't, they don't really come out in the snow to be fair. But uh, I stopped thinking, nah. See this is a funny angle. And just sort of doing it the way it is. Uh, let's put a little bit on there. I'm going to ignore the mushrooms because they've got white dots on. If I try and put snow on the top as well, it's going to be a bit much, I think. Let's put a little bit on top of all of these leaves. You can have a look and decide if you think you want to do the finishing touch or whether you think it's just a bit over the top. I can't really work out what to do here. I think we'll do. Um, you might not even have a white pen. White pens are so useful though. Whatever you're colouring. It's very rare for me not to grab a white pen at some stage. Uh, it just adds a little bit of fun really, doesn't it? An extra little dimension, a bit of shine, a bit of, you know, could add a bit of shine to these. I don't know why I didn't. I think I just forgot when I got into berry mode today. There we go. I think I'm about done. You could go a bit more mad, do a lot more. It's up to you or none. But there is our complete page. So I had a lot of fun with that page. And um, thank you for those of you that watched and those of you that joined in. It's really good. Um, you can um, post your, I think, completed pages on my Facebook page if you want to share them with me. Um, I think I've changed the settings so that that's now possible. Um, but have a go if you'd like to. I also see them on Instagram, particularly if you tag if you tag Rita Berman. If you put hashtag Rita Berman, then I see them because I always look at all the hashtag Rita Berman pictures because I would like to see what people are doing. Uh, it's also inspirational and I think oh they've done that I'm going to have a go at that picture or whatever it might be now I'm probably not going to do the right hand page um, this winter I might I might change my mind especially if you all beg me to do it but uh, I think I might I want to try and focus on a few other books as well this winter and uh, it's, the seasons go so fast by the time I've sort of got into a season we'll move on you know I'm still thinking I'd like to do more Christmas pictures but I can't really because it's passed by and autumn seemed to last a week so <laughs> so um, yeah we'll see but anyway thank you all for watching I hope you did enjoy this series um, I did um, and thank you for um, watching and happy colouring